Hello, how are you? And I hope that you're good. We don't go the same places that we used to. Welcome back to another <laughs> TB Avatar game. This is our second one. And if you have missed the first one, I will link that down below. Because I am very excited to see what December holds for me. I have a couple of books that I really, really want to get into the TBR. And I'm just hoping that the Avatar gods are going to be kind upon me today. And we can get that sorted. There were a couple of things I wanted to address first. Um, there were a lot of you guys that were a bit confused as to how to play this game with me. I think the TBR games in general are normally created more so for the entertainment, for people to watch and have more fun with the TBRs. But I know also a lot of people play with their favorite TBR games uh, and just follow the prompts that the creator gets and that way they have a set amount of prompts that they would like to fulfill together with the person they're watching. First of all, thank you so much for all of the compliments on the game. I'm so excited that you guys actually liked it. So first of all, thank you so much. And I know a lot of you guys were saying things like, if you would sell this, I would 100% buy it. Uh, where can I get this? How do I play on my by myself, on my own? I did not want to actually sell the cards um, for so many reasons. So after some thought and also discussions with my friends and my Patreons, thank you <laughs> for having the patience to talk through things with me. I've decided to release the digital versions online. If you want to play your own TB avatar and you don't want to follow me, which is totally fine, um, I hope you still tune in into my TBRs because obviously that would be that'd be great. <laughs> but I thought you know 2020 is such a hard year for everyone, and if this makes your days or months just a tiny bit lighter and brighter and fun, then of course I want to give that to you. So. It wouldn't feel right to me for this particular game to charge anyone. I, I don't want to. I don't want to. <laughs> I will link the PDF of all of the cards. There are 78. They're in one document um, down in the description bar. So you can download that. And I also hopefully <laughs> made a digital, like at the time of filming, I haven't yet, but hopefully I made like a little digital simplified kind of version of this big board. Because like obviously I could take a photo, but I feel like it would maybe be just nicer if I um, made a digital version so you can either print it out or just like play on your tablet or whatever I don't know um it's also gonna be down in the description bar for you to download and play at your le leisure if you want to find the card uh because they're all in one document there's 78 pages because there's 78 cards you can use a random number generator which is the first thing put that in Google, the first thing that will come up, it will ask you how, what is the range of the numbers, just put 1 to 78 and then click that and then you'll see what number gets picked and then you can check what card was that number. Um, so you definitely can play this somewhat online and without having to print anything. Um, if you do decide to, please tag me. I would love to see your TBRs. I would love to see how you play. If you don't want to muck about with that and if you don't want to print this yourself and if you do just want like a finished copy of the cards, not these cards, this is <laughs> my separate thing, but Jesse from Bowties and Books have their own deck that they have made um, with prompts. Um, it's a different vibe. It's a different thing, but it's a deck and it's a TBR deck. So you have the same kind of concept, but you also don't even need the board or anything like that. It's just the cards. So make sure to check that out. It, as I said, is at bow ties and books. Um, I think they're still available. I think so. And I do want to really thank you for all of those lovely comments of, you know, I would totally want to buy these from you. If you do still want to support me, um, you can always join my Patreon. I will leave that down below. Uh, but I know that 2020 has been extremely difficult. And even if it wasn't 2020, I don't want anyone to feel any type of pressure to join that. If you can and if you want to, that's obviously amazing and thank you. But I think that's everything because I had this a little bit, I'm not going to include the wrap, wrap up here. I might in the future combine these two videos, but let's play Tibi Avatar. So these are the cards that I had from the last time. I want to just make sure if I did or did not get any bonuses that would let me re-roll because I actually don't remember. I did, however, just finish the book, the last like novel um, of the previous um, TB Avatar, which I will upload a, a, um, a wrap-up soon for you guys, but, um, I do technically still have that graphic novel, um, but it is just a comic, and I do have today and tomorrow still to read it, so I'm, I am going ahead as if I have finished all of the books. 
basically. Just a quick reminder that water is fantasy, fire is mystery thriller, earth is contemporary, and air is a sci-fi. So upon further inspection, I have two re-rolls if I so desire. Um, I'm adding these, I'm shuffling these back in. Logan hasn't played his yet, so I am going to I'm going to keep his cards out for this round, uh, just because I will forget <laughs> what they were before if I need to. All right, let's get let's get on the floor rolling because um, I decided that's just the easiest way. <laughs> okay, so this is kind of funny because Logan is here and he's gonna go way back to you because not to spoil it, it'll be in the next vlog. But he's here and he's gonna go down because the boy did not read the books, which is funny. Well, you read some, but. And I read all, so I'm gonna be moving five more steps, which are one, two, three, four, five. I don't pick anything up because that's not the roll. But look at me! Yay! <laughs> okay, let's roll the first thing. Let's 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 start. Okay, first first spin. That was a big one. Four. <laughs> one, two, three, four. Oh my god, yay! Well, I got the um, training scroll, which means that I actually get to buy myself a book, <laughs> which I know it's only technically been a month, but I, I knew this was going to happen. I knew that as soon as I will be literally forbidden from doing something, I will have like the biggest urge to, and I was right, um, especially with this one, and I blame Cody entirely for this one, um, the Assassin's Apprentice Illustrated Edition. I really want to treat myself to that one, so I'm gonna get it. Yay. Okay, so um, that also just means that I am taking a card from the deck to see what the prompt is. Um, but I'm already in a very good mood because I got to buy a book. <laughs> Let's see. Um, oh, upside down. Oh god. Book that has both a U and an I in the title. The card is Unagi, which is funny because I just think also about friends with the Unagi. <laughs> but book that has both an A and a I and the title. I have two books that I really really want to push into the TBR, possibly three. First of all, go check if those fit. <laughs> Somehow, doesn't have either. <laughs> the other one only has an I. No! Okay, that's fine. What else would I like to be? <laughs> Excuse me, how is it so hard to have an U somehow? Okay, a possible contender is um, The Invisible Life of Addie LaRue. Could possibly be that, possibly. A little bit afraid because this is not the shortest of books, very thin pages, and the other books I want to fit in are also not the shortest, so let me look for alternatives. I got it, I think I got it. I want to eat your pancreas. Um, this is gonna be what I pick for this. Oh, so this is actually a water, which is supposed to be a fantasy, so we, oh. <laughs> Mangas. So we will not be getting a respin for this, like a no bonus, but I'm okay with it. Uh, so I'm gonna read the back for you guys. A bittersweet romance. In this deeply moving first person story, an introverted high school boy finds his classmate's diary and learns her biggest secret. <laughs> Yamauchi Sakura is dying from a pancreatic disease and now he is the only person outside her family to know the truth. The last thing the boy wants is to be her friend, uh, but Sakura's cheerful demeanor and their or Sakura's? I'm not sure. A cheerful demeanor and their shared secret draw them together in this heart-rending um, tale of friendship and mortality. And it has come highly recommended in lots of places that I've actually seen. So I'm very intrigued. Very intrigued. And uh, it is a manga. It is a chunk of a manga, but at the same time still it's a manga. So hopefully that'll help <laughs> with whatever lies ahead for me with this. Let's go do another spin. Over here, let's do another spin. Oh my god, what is that? <laughs> let's inspect this. It's a three. It's on the line, but it's a three. Um, so we'd go one, two, three. Cabbage pot! Oh no! I could respin. I could respin. I do have, I believe. How many did I say? Two respins? Or do I just brave it for the drama? <laughs> I might just do it. Let's do it. <sighs> Cabbage pot. Give me a U. 
it is time for us to meet officially. Logan has already had the honors of the cabbage pod, but I have not. Actually, nervous. I don't want to read something I don't want to read, but that's that's the cabbage pod's vibe and maybe it'll surprise me. There's so many slips inside. I actually need to at some point go and redo this because the paper I use is like actual card and it's very hard for me to navigate this cabbage pod, but it's just a challenging experience. The chances of me drawing the two books that I want, like either of them, are extremely low, but never zero, so... Interesting. This is what I got. The stories stories of your life and others actually took me like a hot second there to realize what book this is um but this is a book that's actually short stories and includes a story that is basically one of my favorite movies which is called um arrival and i absolutely love that movie so this is a story this is a short story collection from this author um, and it includes that story, but it also has many others. So it's a short story collection, which I'm not usually a big fan of, but this is a sci-fi short story collection. So I could be successful in reading this. And if not, I can always DNF because that's the rules of this game. I can always DNF. It's making me very nervous about the fact that I really want, I really want to read one of the books that I want to push in here. And then another book, is uh, a Patreon read and I really also need to fit this in but so far there's not been a lot of opportunity to do that but we still have three prompts left to go so that's fine I'm just gonna include this little paper here so I know what prompt that is and because of it, this is a cabbage pot there's no reroll as a uh, again, we'll read a little bit from the back, which says, From a soaring Babylonian tower that connects a flat earth with the firmament above to a world where angelic visitations are a wondrous and terrifying part of everyday life, from a neural modification that eliminates the appeal of physical beauty to an alien language that challenges our very perception of time and reality, that's the one with the movie, <laughs> Uh, Chang's rig rigorously imagined fantasia invites us to question our understanding of the universe and our place in it. Actually, I'm very pumped to read this and I've wanted it for so long, so, so actually I'm very happy about, about this pick. You've done well, Cabbage Pot. <laughs> This has been a very adventurous um, journey so far, but let's, let's spin the third spin. Oh god. Six. I just yeeted Logan's figurine. <laughs> that would take me to one, two, oh, three, four, five, six. Corner, empty tile. This way. Shall we give them a little shuffle? Still haven't decided, but I think it's it's the smart way to do it. What is it? Southern Water Tribe. Book with snow on the cover or white cover? I was getting real nervous there. <laughs> so happy I can fit this in because this is a book that I think is gonna take me the longest to read in December, but this is our Patreon Mooney read, The Bear and the Nightingale. Very winter appropriate. Definitely has snow on the cover, right? Definitely does. <laughs> um, I'm so excited, though, a little bit scared because I know it's a very slow going story and I know it's long so <laughs> but I also know that this is a favorite of many so you know reading the back for you um beware the evil in the woods in a village at the edge of the wilderness of northern Russia where the winds blow cold and the snow falls many months of the year an elderly servant tells stories of sorcery folklore and the winter king to the children of the family rude. Tales of old magic frowned upon by the church. But for the young, wild Vasya, these are far more than just stories. She alone can see the house spirits that guard her home and sense the growing forces of dark magic. So it's very heavily inspired or even based on uh, Russian folklore. Very excited to get to it. Not sure if I like it. I don't know. Place your bets. If you know my reading <laughs> taste, let me know if you think I will love this or if you think it's just gonna be a miss for me. Um, but that's, that's us with the third read. We're in the corner and here we go with spin number four. Four. Okay, so one, two, three, haha. -ha. <laughs> 
good, good, good that I didn't stand on that for. I'm gonna keep this. I realize that I still have spins. I might use it on my last one, but I didn't. I wanted to overstep this one, so that's fine. So we are on the empty tile, but we have managed to avoid this, which is good. What do you think, Zeus? Oh, you're gonna take my figurine, aren't you? <sighs> Very much so. Okay. Oh, my battery's dying. Why? Ooh. Okay, very quickly before that. What's it? Flopsy! Read a book that you find intimidating. Um, so I think there are a couple of types of intimidation. There's a type that you're like just afraid because it's a very large book. There is intimidation because you have a lot of expectations at, or it's like the name of the wind for me is where well, I'm afraid to read it for the fear that it's not gonna mean as much to me after I read it but there's also an intimidation I think that is a very specific type that follows you loving the first book everyone hyping up the second one a lot but you being intimidating of the book because you have been burned before and you are afraid that this is not gonna be as good um so <laughs> I think I've spun that enough for me to be able to put this into my TBR, which is The Golden Sun, second book of The Red Rising. I will die. I will cease to exist and cry myself to sleep if I don't put this in my TBR. So we're gonna go with it. And I am actually intimidated by this because there's so many reasons to be afraid <laughs> of how I feel reading this. And it is actually a really big book. So there is for sure a type of intimidation here. I guess a spoiler, I love Red Rising. Um, I have not felt as excited about a book I've just read in probably years, so I'm extremely excited to continue with it, but also intimidated by it because, you know, so um, this is actually Earth. <laughs> It's an Earth card, which means that I would need to have a contemporary for an extra spin. So it's just not looking promising that I will have any extra spins next time. But seeing that I haven't actually used them this time, that's maybe okay. But Red Rising in itself is kind of a dystopian sci-fi novel where our character lives in the least, you know, the, the, the lowest tier on in society where they just get abused and entirely mistreated. And um, it's also one of those stories that or very early on you learn that, you know, everything you knew about, everything you thought you knew is actually incorrect. And it is a massive reveal, which I love. And then, and then this book actually later on to me seems like a mashup of Hunger Games and also Civilization V. Uh, well, it's actually six, I think, now, but I played Civilization V, so it's like Hunger Games and Civ, and I adored it. So that's us with our four options. Let's see what's the last book that I'm going to be reading. Don't really want a three, because that would be too many cabbage pots for my liking. I That is way out of control. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six would be amazing because I would get to buy another book, but I don't know if that's too much. Um, but it is the last scroll until the very end, so it could be nice. And Christmas is coming, you know, so maybe I could treat myself, but... Um, and then obviously like eight would be, wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, eight would be good as well because that's the most moves and further to the actual goal. I cannot roll a nine, which is fine because this is where the burn tile is, so I would go back here. Um, but anything is fine. I think if I roll a three, I'll respin. And also if I roll anything below three, I might respin. Because why not? Although if I roll below the three and then respin and get a three, I have another respin actually. And then if I <laughs> do that again, then I'll have to go with the cabbage pod. But okay, let's, let's spin. Let's spin. <laughs> I'm a respin. I am going to respin because I don't want to be on the cabbage pause for the second book in the TBR. That's too much. Like, I love you guys and I know it's very entertaining, but one is enough for me because what if I get like something massive? What if I get. What's the biggest book that I have that I have not read? I think maybe the, the To Sleep in a Sea of Stars. Like, look how big that is. Or. Priory of the Orange Tree is also in there, so I am not gonna risk that in December. So we're gonna we're gonna try again. <laughs> An eight. Ooh, I could either respin this 
to try and get into that tile. Or I can just go with it. This is difficult. Screw it. Screw it. Let's do it. Let's let's live on the edge. Uh, please don't be a three. <laughs> I laugh, but I cry. Oh my god. Whew. Okay, five. Five. So, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, I got a bit excited there. That's a five. Um, so I didn't get the book, but I didn't stand on the cabbage pot, so it's all good. Okay, last time we're picking a card. Oh, that fell out. Oh, interesting, okay. We got Boomy. Read a book you've heard is a tad odd. I know I made these poems, but what does that even mean? <laughs> I know this is an earth card again, so it just looks like we're just not gonna even have an option for respins in the next game, which is fine. Just fine. So no bonus points for us, but I think I'm gonna go with this, which is magic, the magic order. Um, so I didn't actually hear too many things, but I think it does seem like a little bit of an odd take on things. From what I understand, I think this is about a couple of people that are actually by night they are the sorcerers, magicians, and wizards that protect us from the forces of darkness, but they're also kind of like unconventional ones. At least that's what I think, but maybe I'm wrong. Maybe this is not odd at all. But I guess this is just me thinking that, so um, that's fine because that is literally the card. <laughs> so we're good. That sums up my TBR and it's actually pretty substantial. Now again, the rules are as they are, but I don't have to read all of them. If I cannot manage, I'll just move slightly less, or I'll, um, if I don't read anything, I'll move back. But, you know, nothing bad's gonna happen. It'll just be a little bit longer till I can buy books again. <laughs> um, but I will try my best. We have The Golden Sun, which is the second in Red Rising. Um, we have this comic called Magic, um, The Magic Order. Um, the Bear and the Nightingale. Stories of your life and others. Actually, very excited. The cabbage pot did not do me dirty. And um, I want to eat your pancreas, which actually would fit the odd prompt really well as well, because even just for the name, like what, what kind of name is that? So I'm actually very excited for these. Please let me know if you are following along with me or if you played your own version. And if so, what did you get? What your TBR is looking like? If you don't want to miss my for future uploads where um, I have like Logan's vlog, <laughs> Logan's TB avatar coming in the upcoming vlog. Um, I have that avatar video coming your way as well as a wrap up if you don't want to miss my videos make sure you click the notification bell so you actually know when i upload because youtube is not the best actually at letting people know and i try my best but i only use instagram and i know things happen on twitter and i'm just not partaking so um i know some people might miss it so it means a lot to me if you decide to be notified about my uploads but that's it I hope you guys enjoyed it thank you so much for being awesome and kind as per usual Thanks so much, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.